Hi, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to our Receipt Bank and Reckon One launch webinar. Uh, I am thrilled to be your host today. My name is Luis Sanchez. I'm the general manager for Receipt Bank Asia Pacific, based out of Sydney. And I've got wonderful um, guests with me. But let me flash up some slides so you can see what this is going to look like. Uh, we believe that you will be able to do more with your data uh, with this new integration between Receipt Bank and Reckon One. So this is how this webinar is going to go. We think it'll last about 30 minutes, maybe a little more, a little less. Uh, we'll do some intros. Uh, we're going to tell you a little bit about why Receipt Bank and Reckon One have been working very closely on creating this integration, and we're thrilled to have it live as of now. Uh, we will do a little bit of a deep dive into the integration, things you can expect from it and things you, you might not need to. Uh, our friend Mel, who is on, is going to be, has, has recorded a demo, and so we're going to show you about a three-minute demonstration of the integration. And then, really, the the, the stars are going to shine during our panel discussion, uh, where our friend Corey from Reckon One and Jocelyn, um, our key hero here, she's one of our practitioners who's used the integration, and she'll tell us a little bit about her experience. Um, and then we'll, we'll quickly close. So do me a favor, um, um, give me a round of applause, give me a, you know, some, some thumbs up, because uh, we've got some great, great panelists here. Again, like I said, my name is Luis. I've been with Receipt Bank a couple of years, and before that I worked for Intuit, in both uh, America and in Sydney for nine years. So very excited to be here. We got great news to share. Jocelyn, would you do me a favor and introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm Jocelyn. Um, I've had my own bookkeeping business now for nearly 20 years uh, and I've predominantly reckoned products. I've been a BAS agent since 2009 when it first came in. Um, yes, and uh, I've got a small staff and uh, love the Reckon products. So. Love it. Love it. And Jocelyn is a huge Reckon fan, like many of you. And uh, we're just thrilled that she gets a chance to uh, live the Receipt Bank dream from here on out. Corey, do me a favor. I know that you know a lot about Reckon and Reckon One. Would you mind introducing yourself? Thanks, Luis. Uh, my name's Corey. I'm a uh, customer success manager with Reckon. I've been with Reckon for around five and a half years now, but I have spent over 10 years uh, training and consulting on accounting uh, and having also spent over 10 years in public practice accounting. So it's nice to sort of be on both sides of the, the fence. And I'm very passionate about the Reckon software and helping businesses and accountants and bookkeepers all work together to get the right software fit for their, for their clients, really. I love it. Thank you, Corey. I know that in our, in our question and answer uh, session, you will bring to life that, that Reckon view, but also that practitioner view, which is great. And uh, we've got my friend Mel Reed from our partner success team. Mel, you want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Melissa Reid. Um, actually, I'm celebrating my one year work anniversary with Yay. Receipt Bank. Um, so previous to working with Receipt Bank, I actually came from the accounting industry. So I've kind of been on both sides of the spectrum, which is exciting. I love it, Mel. And I know you used to work for Nexia, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. I love it. Yeah. So Mel is very humble. She doesn't like to drop names, but I just thought you'd like to know the kind of firm that she used to work for. And we're thrilled that she's been with us for over a year. Um, so let's, uh, let's kick things off. So in a few words, you know, we, we believe in automation. We believe in driving efficiencies. We believe that time is precious. And so with, you know, Receipt Bank, uh, you know, we, we show you how to digitize data and uh, this integration enables you to then ready that data for reconciliation and, and then share it straight into your Reckon One book. So you will see in just a few minutes how this integration works. Our, our reason for being, why we get up in the morning and we, we build our product and we try to make it better is so that you will one day do no manual data entry. We just want to make sure that you're spending time on the value added services that you need to help your small business clients. But you know, plugging in data um, day after day after day, hour after hour, is probably not the best use of your time. So we think that this integration could really help. So with that, Mel, you wanna tell us a little bit about the end-to-end -end process of this integration? Yes, yeah, so it's really one step, you funnel, it's a central location to funnel all your clients' expenses in real time and with accuracy, just to echo exactly what Luis just shared with you. Um, so your clients can submit their documents directly into Receipt Bank. Um, that's getting that information to you in that real time, ready for you to process and then send it straight through to your Reckon One file to reconcile in moments. Um, 
obviously the importance of this is exactly, echo exactly again what <laughs> Louise said, it's to streamline that process and really to give you time back into your pocket. I love it, Mel. Thank you for that. I think, you know, at the end of the day, we just, we want you to have some time back. We want you to focus on what's important. And uh, hopefully through the conversation, it'll become a little clearer as to how Receipt Bank can really, you know, we talk about, about this as like smart features. We help you automatically set a bunch of stuff. Sort of, you know, we talk about set and forget, set some things up once, and we just take care of business going forward time and time again. So would you mind just walking us a little bit through how you set up the integration, Mel? Yep. So... This integration is super easy, super simple. Um, essentially, you just create your client file on Receipt Bank. Um, once you've created that client file, we can actually set the integration that is just choosing Reckon One as your integration. Um, this is going to take you straight into the Reckon customer portal. You connect, choose your company file, and then we can bring that through. And then all your chart of accounts, projects, um, supplier contacts are all going to be synced into Receipt Bank, um, ready for you to do all the reporting that you need to do in Receipt Bank before you send it across to Reckon One. Um, once you've published it over, it's ready to reconcile against your bank feed. Great. And I know you're going to hear from Mel a few times the concept of going hands-free. That's what we want to do. We want to. We want you to not have to, you know, punch in a bunch of stuff, but just to watch those transactions flow from your client's phone all the way straight into Reckon One. So, do me a favor, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because Mel has got a three-minute video that she's going to show us right here. Cool. Hi, my name is Melissa. I'm one of the partner success consultants here at Receipt Bank Sydney office. Um, today, I just want to show you a quick demonstration on how easy it is to connect your Receipt Bank file to the new integration with Reckon One. Um, first off, you have your client file set up on Receipt Bank. Next, we actually want to make the integration. So let's set that integration up now. Um, here, we can just choose Reckon One from our options and then connect to Reckon One. During the integration process, we're going to take you directly into the Reckon Customer Portal. When you're in this portal, all we need to do is select the company file you wish to associate with and then connect to Receipt Bank. Once we finish that connection, it's going to redirect you back into Receipt Bank. And there we go, successful integration. Two things to note with the integration is chart of accounts set up in your Reckon One file will pull through as categories on the sidebar under your lists and any supplier contacts you have set up within the file will also pull through under suppliers. Now let's actually get looking at the expenses your clients are going to start submitting. Um, coming into our cost workspace, before you can actually start processing information, getting the client submitting the data is obviously most important. Just to touch on a couple of our submission methods. Most common submission method is our mobile app. Get your clients set up, get them submitting on the go anytime, anywhere. Um, you also can see we have the option to send through via email. Um, this is where you can actually create a unique email in address for your clients. They can set it up as a contact in their Outlook Gmail and then forward any expenses or invoices that come through their email directly into Receipt Bank. If you're looking to automate the data collection process even further, um, you can also look at Invoice Fetch. Um, this is a submission method where we can actually connect to a number of suppliers here in Australia directly to their client portals. Um, so here, set up the credentials with the supplier portal and then allow Receipt Bank to collect the statements and invoices in the background, submit them into your Receipt Bank account. Once we've got your client submitting and the data coming through Receipt Bank, next we want to look at how do we publish the information over and what does the integration with Reckon One look like. So here we have a number of Coles supermarket expenses. Um, what you can do is click on your item um, Left-hand side, you have a picture of the source document. Easy to see all that information. To the right-hand side, you can just see the nine fields that Receipt Bank extract directly off that receipt or invoice. Um, key things to note, 
when publishing your information over to your Reckon One file, just apply a category, that chart of accounts that you want to report to, um, and then coming down and identifying where you want to publish to in the general ledger. Um, so would you like to recognize this particular item as a bill? Um, is it a payment or is it a credit note? If you want to send that information through as a bill, we can select bill and then publish. When you publish your information over to your Reckon, um, if we come over into the file, you can just see money out, sidebar bills, come into here, and that Coles transaction is now available in your Reckon 1 file for you to reconcile against the bank feed. Um, so that is how easy it is to get information from your clients, sort through it in Receipt Bank, and then transfer it into your accounting software. Thank you. Very nice video. I'm a big fan. Um, there is one thing that we wanted to add to that video. And so if, would you mind just updating everybody on this screenshot, Mel? Yeah, definitely. So um, something we just wanted to touch on from after viewing the video of how you actually get the information over to your Reckon 1 file. Um, a common asked question is, can you view the source document after it's been transferred from Receipt Bank to Reckon? Um, you'll see here on the right hand side, you have a Receipt Bank icon. If you ever wanna view that particular source document, all you need to do is select the link. It will take you directly back into, or redirect you back into Receipt Bank and you can view the image from there. Beautiful. Thank you, Mel. Um, so now, you know, nice and easy, we're going to move a little bit into our question and answer session because frankly, this is where the real, you know, uh, knowledge is going to come in. So great for you to, to see what the integration looks like. Uh, but we got, you know, people like Corey who've been working on the integration with us. We got people like Mel who clearly understands the integration well. Uh, but it, as I mentioned before, our hero is Jocelyn because she's the one who's really, um, like yourselves, has given this a, a, a red hot go. But let's start with with Corey, just asking kind of a, a basic question, but an important question. Um, Corey, wh why is this integration important to Reckon users? Yeah, no, it is an important integration because a lot of people will spend a lot of time just recaying information into their uh, Reckon One book that's the supplier name, the date, the amount, details of that bill. So this integration is taking um, a lot of that hard work away from it and they can then, it's just gonna be there for them and they can spend more time doing other stuff around their business uh, in there and also uh, help with their working with their accountant and bookkeeper to answer any queries on those transactions in a timely manner. So when they're occurring, so that it's going to be a great time saver and, and great value for everyone really on there. That sounds great. And so, um, you know, I, I know that we also believe that there's a, a few other improvements in, in workflow that, that we see from this integration, but from other integrations that our partners have as well. Mel, you want to tell us a little bit about how, you know, we, we kind of through Receipt Bank and many of our partners create much more efficient workflows? Yeah, definitely. Um, so we always talk about saving time. You've heard us mention it several times by now. Um, so what does that actually mean and how do you save time? So what we can actually do in Receipt Bank is you can elevate your efficiency. So we can actually set up rules according to a supplier um, and then you can automatically, from those rules, apply a category, project, payment methods, or even a recurring description. Um, we can then even take this to the next level. After you've set that supplier rule, you can review and identify those or your most regular suppliers, and then make them go hands-free with auto-publish. Um, so to use a classic example, um, every time you see that Telstra bill come into your client's receipt bank file, um, we can then set that supplier rule. It'll be categorized according to that supplier rule you set up. Um, and then this is going to be sent across straight to the Reckon 1 file or without having to do a thing. Um, so you can actually be confident in Receipt Bank accurately reporting your data to your accounting software. I love it. I think uh, Matt Mel did a very good job of just bringing to life the fact that our, our wish is that you actually, over time, spend less and less time in Receipt Bank because you're setting up all these rules. You're setting up all these, you know, we call it auto-publish is the concept of as soon as the data comes into Receipt Bank, it goes straight into your general ledger, right? And you go straight into your Reckon One book and ideally you've got a one-click one, one -click reconciliation. That's, that's time back. 
that you can use to go out, go out and get more clients, um, you know, potentially um, still, still build by the project, still build by the job, um, not necessarily build by the hour, and, and, and you get to, you know, benefit from that. So I know Jocelyn is going to tell us a little bit more about that uh, very shortly, but my point is we are all about efficiencies. We want you to spend less time in the software so you can spend more time out getting business or, you know, spending time with the family and friends. So, um, Jocelyn, th this is kind of where the rubber meets the road, really. How is this integration making your life better? Uh, it's uh, helping a lot because we don't have to chase up clients to get uh, copies of their receipts. So we know where to allocate them. We've got them right in front of us. Um, and as Mel said, we can um, automate them, or auto publish them for the standard ones, the fuels and things like that. So it's saving us a lot of time there. Um, and the clients find it really easy by just taking a photo and, and just publishing it straight to uh, Receipt Bank and we can worry about the rest of it from there. I, I love that. And from the first time we ever talked, Jocelyn, you, know, you talked about how it made your, your life better. Um, but, you know, I've been working with accountants and bookkeepers for a long time. You just want to help people. You know, you just want to help small businesses be better off. And the bottom line is, this is really easy for them to use, you know, we, you know, and we didn't even go into this, but getting, getting one of your clients set up on Receipt Bank is as easy as sending them a link. We take care of all that. And then they just take pictures, you know, at the end of the day, either, you know, they do that or they might set up a couple of, you know, connections to their Telstra account, to their Optus, whatever it might be. Uh, and you just watch those bills, you know, automatically come through. Um, and so, you know, there's, there's something in it for you, which is great. There's something in it for them. And then we talked about one more thing, Jocelyn, which is, you know, do you think that, you know, when you get a chance to say, hey, I use Reckon One and I use Receipt Bank, does that, does that set you apart from the competition? Yeah, definitely. And we've got to, as bookkeepers, we've got to keep up with everything that's going out there so that we've got the chance to showing to our clients that we're looking after their best interest. We're trying to save them money as well as getting the work done. Um, and I feel as if we don't bring it to, to the client, somebody else will. Um, so I guess it's definitely helped. Thank you, Justin. That makes a, a, a lot of sense to me. Uh, you know, it's, it is, it is competitive out there and you got to have the best tools. And, and honestly, you know, once you've got, you're up and running with Reckon One Receipt Bank, you, you've got a pretty good tech stack is what we you know, start calling it, right? You, your, your software is, is smart and it's talking to the best software out there in order to help you add the most value to your clients. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we believe, and this is what we've seen through, you know, doing business with a lot of people around the world. You know, we've been um, around for over 10 years. We're based out of London originally, but we've been in Australia for almost seven years. And what we see is that we, we save people time. You know, at the end of the day, we get up in the morning to make our accountants and bookkeepers, you know, more efficient. We want to save you time. We want to give you great tools that you can't live without. Um, and I know, Corey, you know, you, you mentioned a little bit about time, you know, that this, this ends up, you know, being quite a recurring theme during our webinar. Um, but, but you, you have a, a slightly interesting point of view around how people value their time. You want to tell us about that? Yeah, no, definitely. So accountants of bookkeepers, traditionally we've always charged things on an hourly rate or uh, over the last few years, everyone's moved to a value-based pricing and, and that sort of thing. But business owners don't always value their, their time. So it's, uh, receipt bank something where they might not see a dollar value on it, but they're definitely getting that more time back where they can, like you said before, spending more time on their business, getting more clients, or even it might be going off and playing golf and that sort of thing and, and doing things that are more meaningful to them rather than just rekeying data. That's, that's what I love about, you know, all of, all of you, you've, you know, you've been, you've been practitioners at some point. Um, and I know that Mel, you know, has been with us for a year, but she talks to, you know, many, many partners, all day long. What, what is it about time they talk about, Mel, that, that this could really help them with? Yeah, I think I actually have a, I guess, an interesting perspective on this because I have been on the other side. So we, especially in today's climate, we're all asking ourselves that question at one time or another. I wish I had one more hour. I wish I had, I wish there was another eight hours in the day. Um, with something like Receipt Bank, integrating with Reckon One, we can now assist and hopefully alleviate the mundane task of manual data entry um, by alleviating or mitigating that time spent in manual data entry you can then reinvest your time back into your clients 
really refocus that energy and go, what can I do for my clients? What's next for my business or what's next for my clients? I love it, Mel. And, and, um, you know, I, I, you, you've mentioned a little bit about it, Justin, which is, you know, you, you got to use the best tools. You got to use the best technology out there in order to set yourself apart. You know, imagine a world where you, you, you no longer have to enter data. You know, we, we have been extracting data and entering it, you know, automatically, literally from those receipts into software like Reckon One. Um, our accuracy rate is north of 99.6%. You know, that's better than you and me could ever key in. You know, this is, this is a perfect example of, use things, you know, in the best way possible. So use software like Receipt Bank to enter data automatically into your files. You use your, you know, your gray matter, your brain to, to deliver the best, you know, uh, analysis for your client. Um, do me a favor, Jocelyn, you, you, you brought up an interesting point just around now that you have a tool like Receipt Bank. You know, it, it could potentially help you change the way you think about your business. You want to tell us a little bit about how you're thinking about it now? Yes, uh, well, I predominantly at the moment still charge um, by the hour and things like that. So now where well, I can try and uh, do a more of a package deal for the client and saying this is our monthly fee. It includes all the receipt bank, includes all our normal work um, and yet streamline our work that way and our processes that we instead of charging by the hour, we can do a, uh, a monthly charge for a client. And that's, you know, that's the beauty. Um, our industry is changing so quickly, but when you're using great solutions like Reckon One Receipt Bank, uh, you've always got to keep your eye open for how do you reinvent yourself? How do you make sure that you're building a future-proof practice? And I think that's a, that's a wonderful idea, Justin. We're seeing that across the industry. A, a lot of people are making that transition to, you know, away from hourly billing, and we highly recommend it. We think that there's a lot in it for you and for your clients as well. So, you know, let me, let me just leave with a kind of a call to action. I think we're going to have a couple of questions we can uh, talk about, but what we want to know is, um, we want you to know is that you can now, you know, learn about this integration between Receipt Bank uh, and Reckon One by just booking in a demo with one of our, um, our, our team members. Either call us at 1-800-107-451 or send us an email at partners at receiptbank.com and we will pick up the phone, you know, schedule something with you and we'll just show you uh, what it looks like. And frankly, we have a a free 30 day trial as well. But uh, again, just if you wanna just see how this all works, uh, we've got our team ready to show you. And so we've got a, a few questions that I know everybody's gonna have in mind and, and I wanted to make sure we, we discuss them. So number one, um, you had a great one earlier, Jocelyn, which is you know what happens if a, a small business closes? What happens to their bills, to the receipts? Mel, you wanna give us the answer there? Yeah, definitely. So at Receipt Bank, we do believe that as a client, you own your data. Um, even more so, we also understand that you have to keep your information on file for at least seven years, seven to 10 to be um, ATO compliant. So at Receipt Bank, we allow you to download a CSV file or a PDF document. Um, this has all your transactions, the original source documents um, for you to produce at any time in regards to might be called up for an audit. Perfect. So yeah, that's exactly right. Don't, you don't need to worry about the data that you can always get it. And we save it for um, all the time that you need with the ATO. Um, Jocelyn, I know you mentioned you've had some experience with one of our competitors. You want to just share a little bit more about how that went and how Receipt Bank compares to that? Yeah, no, I have been using another competitor for a while, but I find that with Receipt Bank, the, the time it takes from taking a photo or sending an email through to Receipt Bank is so much quicker um, that it's it's really within minutes that you can log into Receipt Bank to view the, the document. Um, and they, they don't have the auto publish, so you always have to go in there and um, just check the document and publish it through. Um, it might be coded with rules, but you, it did, you still had to click on the publish. So it's a, and then the integration to from Receipt Bank to Reckon One is a lot quicker as well. So it's and you they don't have the icon that you can click on to be able to view the document. You have to go back into the other competitor to view the document that, that we were looking at. So it's I love very it. good. It it looks like you've got some great experience and you know we, we just thought you'd like to hear it from from Justin who's been doing you know all the all the competitive research herself and so don't take our word for it but do take Jocelyn's um, 
Cool. Um, let's see, just uh, what, one other thing that I'd like to throw out there is um, we, th this is just a start. This is the start between a receipt bank and Reckon One integration. Uh, I can tell you that our teams continue to work together in order to make this a better and better integration over time. So just know that we will continue to invest because the Reckon One, you know, base of both accountants and bookkeepers as well as clients is very large in Australia. And Australia is a really important market to us. And we want to continue to see, you know, us growing together and uh, winning together in this market. So that's really all I had for you guys. Again, just uh, we'd love it if, if you want to learn more, um, give us, you know, send us an email at partners at receiptbank.com or call us at 1-800-107-451 and book in a demo. I just wanted to thank you, Jocelyn. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, Mel. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. And um, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you.